Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be talking about why World of Warcraft is so goddamn addicting. Now, World of Warcraft is addicting. That is almost undeniable. If you don't believe me, you can go ahead and ask the video game addicts who have literally died to playing this game. And that's not even an exaggeration. And uh, I want you to be thinking of the South Park version of this where they are literally sitting in their chairs. They created a state where they are leveling and they are grinding World of Warcraft so hard they don't even get up to go to the bathroom. That is not even close to a real exaggeration and you can take this from an actual World of Warcraft nerd like myself. There are times where I won't get up to go to the bathroom because we got to get through this dungeon or whatever. I'm not afraid to admit it. I am thoroughly addicted to this game. It is actually insane. I really didn't think it was gonna end up like this the story I was getting at earlier. Uh oh, I may die here There is a guy in history who sadly tragically uh, Again refused to get up. He played World of Warcraft for such a long period of time and sat For such a long period of time it resulted in a blood clot and then eventually when he moved the blood clot went to his brain which causes a stroke and I believe it kills him. So there are literally people who will sit in their chair playing World of Warcraft so long that they don't survive it. And if that sounds absolutely insane to you and you don't think you can possibly understand it, I'm going to try and bring some light into maybe how something like that happens and why. And I think it's actually really significant because it's a conversation we're having a lot surrounding dopamine. There's a viral video going around called, uh, I don't know, dopamine detox, why you should detox your brain from dopamine. And the reason is because you quite literally become addicted to dopamine. Therefore, your tolerance, oh nice, we're done. Therefore, your tolerance of dopamine goes down just like it does with drugs or liquor. You do so much of it, it starts to lose its effect. The same thing happens with dopamine. Um, actually, it might be because those things release dopamine that that sort of thing happens with drugs what happens is dopamine is so good it's the best drug in the world and you get addicted to the feeling of dopamine therefore you chase it all the time but there's a lot of things that release dopamine uh, things like sex gambling drugs World of Warcraft all of these things do release dopamine therefore these are all things that people tend to get addicted to and it's really unfortunate it's a conversation that we're hearing a lot surrounding social media social media likes uh views clicks the numbers the satisfying numbers they give us a sort of thrill seeing comments that compliment us they give us a thrill that we love and we chase thus people become addicted to social media and now in the same way that people become addicted to social media they become addicted to video games for the exact same reason it releases a lot of dopamine now here is another reason or or the primary reason of how all this fits in with World of Warcraft and why. There's all these tasks that you are somewhat required to do in World of Warcraft, okay? Now, with using layman's terms, I describe them as, as tasks. But what we're really looking at are dungeons, battlegrounds, questing specifically, and uh, even more specifically, daily repeating quests and these kind of things. So there are many rewards that you receive for all of these activities, and that is what produces the dopamine that people want to chase. So every little time you get a little thing that pops up, objective cleared, or uh, objective done, this world quest is done, and you see coins, rep, go into your account then you are thrilled and you're having a great time the problem comes in because in World of Warcraft there are so many things to earn that's not just an exaggeration and here is the main point as to why this game is so addictive is because there are literally enough of these things that you can accomplish to probably take a lifetime away from you there is no such thing as being a completionist 
completionist on this game. I don't think anyone has ever completed everything there is to do in this game. And so you have games like, let's say, Mario or Metroid or old school games that your parents might know, right? And your parents go, oh, you know, what's the objective of the game? How do you beat the game? And people look at World of Warcraft and say the same thing. How do you beat World of Warcraft? How do you win? When are you done? You're never done. You're never done. You can always infinitely collect rep. You can always infinitely collect mounts. You can always infinitely collect money. There is no cap on these things, and chances are there are enough reputations. The gold cap is so high, or there's so many ways you can store away money. There's so many mounts, there's so many achievements, some you can't even get anymore, and some that are timed that you have to do right now this expansion. Otherwise, FOMO, FOMO, you miss out forever. Not only uh, can you infinitely chase dopamine in this game, but there are certain things that you can only get during a certain time period. So, for example, right now there's a special event, and, and these things are endless. There's so many things like this. Right now we have something called time walking. So, not only is it limited, but you feel as though you absolutely have to grind time walking stuff or this limited event. Otherwise, FOMO, fear of missing out, you're going to miss out forever, and that's a terrible feeling. And then it takes place on an even bigger scale with the expansion. It's pretty clear to most World of Warcraft players that this game infinitely marches on as far as progression goes. So right now we're in a new expansion, okay? I have probably on average played three or four hours a day since this expansion has come out. I am nowhere near completing all the stuff I would like to clear, and I am on this infinite treadmill. It is like that for so many people, and I think a big problem that is part of it is and this this sucks I'm not gonna lie a big part of it is your efficiency as an individual you know a lot of people uh, are playing after work when they just want to relax and they just want to hang out but the problem is they don't do everything that they need to do within one day's time fast enough to even get to the parts of the game that they truly enjoy and to me that is that's an insane phenomenon I think the only way this phenomenon can continue in the cycle that it does for so long is if there's a huge reward and a huge sprout of dopamine and there kind of is because you have a achievements you have like a thousand currencies you have reputation you have levels you have item level mount drops pet drops toys you have basically infinite amounts of rewards for this content that give you little little tinglies in your brain and it's it's actually i know i'm being very cynical but it's actually somewhat fascinating there's so many rpgs like that where people get on and you know it's it's like this classic parent Parents not understanding you know like your parents come up and they're like oh haha are you winning sudden and it's sort of like well actually you can't really win this game all you really do is just infinitely chase these little rewards and try and become like the craziest adventure of all time and like the only way you can really win is by becoming literally a famous influencer for this game and actually make real-life money on it <laughs> and of course that's super uh, uh, weird to think about I feel like secretly there there are a lot of people with that goal with in the back of their mind they're like if I can dump enough time in this if I can actually uh, do this for so long and become such a great player it is possible that I can get paid as an influencer uh, in this game which uh, I'm not gonna lie to you is a lovely sentiment and that's beautiful if you can be really good at something particularly a video game that you really love to do and eventually get paid for it that is amazing and that's awesome I mean obviously the reality for that is very low Obviously, that doesn't always work. That's like the only justification that I feel people subconsciously come up with to make themselves feel better. But here's the thing, right? Like, World of Warcraft is a hobby and uh, whatever is fine because completing tasks in a video game or actually accomplish something you can lift your mood and you can get legitimate real results from playing video games that that can actually result in lifting a suicidal mood for example or make you feel better about your life in a certain way or whatever which is why people like Jordan Peterson basically say that males particularly in society don't 
don't feel particularly useful so they go into a video game where they they feel as though or they're getting that dopamine hit and feel that they are useful. This whole thing is like such a biological and cynical way of looking at something as as fun and simple as video games. But we do live in a reality where people are quite literally becoming addicted to video games to the point where they're killing themselves from it. So it's not like we should turn a blind eye. And this is really important to my main point. People are playing video games so much that it's invoking this state of mania. Now, mania is a really interesting state because that's that's a word we hear in like sales a lot, right? Like shopping mania, whoa, you know, it's super crazy, whatever. But like mania is an actual state of mind and I mean, pretty much mental sickness. And for those who don't know, see manic depressive. Manic depressive is switching between a manic state, a state of mania and a depressive state. But bipolar is also becoming an absolute mania and thinking that you are so unstoppable that you'll fly out to Vegas randomly and blow your life savings. Mania is uh, really important because if you look at uh, some of the symptoms of mania, they include like lack of sleep. So like you become so, ad why can't I loot this hello? Dude, come on. God, this game isn't even good and I'm addicted to it. Mania is uh, one of these things where, where people will literally get addicted to dopamine and dopamine causes mania, can can literally become a dopamine addict and chase it so fervently, you will skip out on sleep, skip out on all sorts of things that are that are truly important. And yet basically your brain becomes so overstimulated that all you can do is just binge, consume, eat. But it's not all bad folks. Like I, I watch all of these videos that are like this and I always leave them feeling crappy and I don't want people to feel crappy after watching my videos that sort of spit the truth like that that are really important and informative so there is light at the end of the tunnel and you know a lot of people will hear that kind of things particularly me I will hear that kind of thing and I'll be like oh my god what am I doing wasting my life on video games are so destructive and so whatever here is my main point I think if used if video games if used to the point where they are not destructive to your life you're not in a manic state you're not skipping out sleep you're not skipping out meals you're not avoiding a social life which right now I you know granted is, is really weird if you are uh, on a healthy level of uh, video games like to relate if you're drinking heavily every day that's a problem but if you drink on the weekends you know no big deal that's that's actually it could even be healthy there's an endless amount of tasks that serve this uh, dopamine binge that most people are addicted to in this day and age, especially where we have a lot of free time on our hands because of modern society. It's nothing to feel bad about. People write it off as like, oh, you're just really obsessed with this video game. It's like, no man, it's a, it's a very real thing to get addicted to just like anything else and practically for the same reasons. And you could quite literally grow a physical dependency because you are so used to having this dopamine in your system so it's a very real thing like I said you know there's people who turn up dead because of it so I think it's a, a talk that we need to have in society I'm also not ever gonna demonize video games because I think there's so many pros uh, especially pros that we haven't even learned about I mean, I can credit so many of the things I've learned and skills I've developed because of video games in my life. So they're not all bad, and that's my point. But uh, be aware, and that's just sort of an insight, I think, onto how video game addiction happens. And if you have poor self-control or whatever, which... I, I'm not gonna lie to you, everyone talks about self-control, but like the reality from what I've seen, many, many adults lack self-control entirely. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching this rant. I know it's been crazy and I made a lot of points. I need to end it now, otherwise I'm just never gonna stop talking. So, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Love you. Bye.